Intent-based networking is the hot new concept being discussed in the network industry right now, and several networking companies have actually released platforms they've labeled as intent-based for a couple of years already. But what really is intent-based networking? My name is Phil Gervasi, and this is Network Phil. Intent-based networking, or intent-driven networking as it's also called, has recently become a very popular discussion piece among tech professionals, especially those of us who specialize in networking. Cisco recently announced an intent-based networking platform they call Network Intuitive, and other companies like Anuda Networks, Glue Networks, and Appstra, just to name a few, have been coming out with their version of an intent-based networking platform for a little while now. The term sounds pretty cool, that's for sure, but what really is intent-based networking? See, what we sometimes forget about our networks is that they don't exist just for themselves. They exist for the sole purpose of delivering an application or a service to an end user. And that's really what our routers, switches, firewalls, wireless controllers, and any other type of network appliance are for, delivering a service to the end user. So what's the problem here? Don't we already do a pretty good job of getting the application to the end user? We already have pretty reliable email, social media, search engines, e-commerce, and whatever else we do online, right? Well, sort of. Getting those services to work well on an actual physical network, hardware and software, is kind of a pain. The method we've used for decades has been to configure each one of our network devices, like switches, routers, firewalls, and whatever, pretty much manually, one at a time. And in a large network, that's a lot of boxes to configure. So, as an example, imagine configuring end-to-end -end quality of service for voice and video across a huge infrastructure. I've done that before, and it can take a long time. And frankly, I'm very prone to mistakes and have had to go back and troubleshoot because I messed up somewhere. You may have already heard about, or, or maybe you're using network automation techniques, which help make that process a whole lot easier. Writing scripts in Python and Ansible to manage entire groups of network devices makes configuring things like QoS a lot easier. Well. Network vendors have seen the value in that and have gone a step further to develop platforms to actually orchestrate an entire configuration, which is getting closer to intent-based networking, but not quite. So let's take a step back and look at the difference between micro configurations and macro configurations. A micro configuration is the individual task an engineer performs as part of the service delivery process. This could be configuring an access control list in a firewall, a route map on a router, or maybe jumbo frames on a data center switch. Specific individual configurations. Macro configurations have to do with the overall technology needed for the service to be delivered properly. So in keeping with our QoS example, the micro configurations would be configuring the actual class maps, policy maps, ACLs, and then applying uh, the service policies to the interfaces. Whereas the macro configurations is simply configuring QoS across the San Jose LAN. You see, network automation abstracts the micro configurations by hiding them in a script. Network orchestration abstracts the scripts by giving you a button to click, such as a button called Configure QoS. Network orchestration is then concerned with macro configurations, not really intent. Intent-based networking goes further. The idea is to actually abstract the entire configuration itself, and instead of configuring any technology at all, whether it be at the micro or macro level, intent-based networking tells the network what service you want to run, and the network configures itself. So intent, in this case, is the service I want the network to deliver, not how it delivers it. So for example, let's say I'm implementing a new internal learning management system that uses lots of video. Um, I'd want to open up new ports on my firewalls, configure QoS, set up new voice and video VLANs, maybe introduce new route tags and who knows what else in order to get that audio and video, video stream to the end user properly every time. In this case, the intent is straightforward, deliver high quality audio and video from my LMS servers to end users. There's nothing about configuring QoS or VLANs there. The intent is much more closely aligned with the business than with the technology. But I think most network engineers, myself included, normally think about this stuff in terms of how we deliver the service and not really the service itself. And that's why intent-based networking is a step beyond provisioning boxes with some sort of an orchestration platform. And in theory, intent-based networking is a big part of what I believe SDN was always supposed to be. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. There are some really cool companies coming out with some really cool stuff right now with the label intent-driven and intent-based on it. But I'm not sure we're really there yet. A lot of those platforms identifying as intent-based are really advanced network orchestration platforms more than anything else, though I'm sure we're headed in the right direction. 
We're talking about adding real intelligence to the network, real intelligence, and this is no easy task. We're talking about developers cranking out enormous amounts of code and really smart people thinking about things like artificial intelligence and machine learning, stuff that a router jockey like me can only hope to understand. We're seeing new controller platforms from both traditional hardware vendors and much newer software vendors addressing the same thing, adding intelligence to the network. So think about it. All you need to do is tell or announce to a fully baked and mature intent-based networking platform that you want to, I don't know, let's say secure all IoT devices on a network and the intent engine, probably some sort of controller, knows what that means and configures the network. And this is what intent-based networking is at its core, announcing your intent to the network and then seeing somehow the network configure itself accordingly. So this is some pretty cool stuff. To be able to announce your intent to the network and then have some sort of intent engine interpret that and then configure the network for you, that's awesome. I'm a big fan of Star Trek and I love how Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge just tells the USS Enterprise computer what to do and then it does it for him. So I, uh, I'm really excited about the direction that the network industry is going right now. So make sure to click on the follow buttons in the lower left of this page to stay in touch on Twitter and to get my latest posts and videos right to your inbox. Thanks for watching.